Hello Year 10 Graphics. The purpose of this PowerPoint is to get you to think a bit further about your soul bass interpretations. Some of you have done some fantastic work either by hand or on the computer. Now it's thinking about how we can push this a little bit further. We're going to use PowerPoint to draw. Some of you don't have Photoshop and Illustrator so this is a great tool to use. I'm going to show you some great work that has been sent to me so far. Here we've got a Soul Bass inspired poster for the film In the Mood for Love. We've got the original poster on the right and we've got the student's example on the left. We can see the influence from Soul Bass's The Shining poster with the pointillism, the dot work that is appearing on the portrait. There's also re really strong influences to Sol Bass's use of typography and his use of simplistic shapes and block colours. So we've got the burgundy, the black and the white as a theme throughout this poster. Here we've got a student's example for the film Clueless. Again, we've got the original on the right hand side and the student com has completely transformed this poster, really thinking about Sol Bass's colours and simplistic shapes. So rather than having the photograph of the actresses, we've just got this idea of the hair, this simple shape that forms around the title. We've also got the simplistic colour scheme and the very appropriate typography. This example is for the film Black Swan. So what the student has done is taken this idea of the cracked face from the original poster and incorporated that with the swan, breaking up the shape. The swan is very simplistically drawn and then filled in with a solid colour, again keeping to this red, black and white colour scheme. So there's influences to the original poster, but then we've very much got this soul bass style. Two further examples here, again very different from one another, very much linking to Sol Bass's work. We've got the scream using these simplistic shapes and colours and again very appropriate typography. And then the second example for the Meg uses pointillism and block colour. So we're taking inspiration from lots of different Sol Bass examples. Again the students have thought really carefully about where the typography is going to appear on the poster. Now I'm going to talk about how you can develop your work. So here again we've got a student's example. Their first version of this poster is on the very left hand side. We've got this sketch of envelopes. What they've then done is they've looked further at Saul Bass's work. We've got the example on the right hand side with the red suitcases. And what the student has done is they've developed the shape of the envelope. So that they're less detailed and more in the style of Sol Bass. They've thought carefully about how those suitcases are separated with this red line. And what they've done with their, their envelopes is they've used a black line to separate them out. The next step for this student is to develop their typography. Here the student has taken a photograph of their work and put it onto the computer. You can either do this with a photograph or you can scan it in. What we've then got is digital typography overlaid over the top. They've just done this in PowerPoint so that we're taking a font from a free font font website such as 1001 fonts. On that website there are various Sol Bass fonts that you can search for. And then this typography has been overlaid over the top of the envelopes so it's more fitting with the style of the original Sol Bass piece. Here we have an example for the film Mean Girls. We've got the original on the left and we've got the Sol Bass inspired version on the right. Rather than using photographs on the Sol Bass version, we've got this idea of simplistic shapes and this has been drawn on PowerPoint. On the next few slides I'm going to show you how you do this, but you're going to use the free form tool within the shape section of PowerPoint. What that can allow you to do is draw your own shapes, either over your own drawings or over photographs. 
again we've got the, the appropriate typography which has been taken from a free font website and we've got the simplistic pink in the background taken from the original poster the tool we're going to use is called freeform and you can find this by going to insert shapes and then selecting the symbol that is circled on the screen. Once you've selected the free form shape tool, you're going to begin drawing. You may decide to take the original film poster and draw around some of the features or the shapes on that poster. You may take a photo from the film itself, or you may wish to draw around one of your own scanned in drawings. You need to make sure that the shape that you draw joins up. Once this happens, it will default to a solid blue colour. You can format this by right clicking within that shape to change the fill, colour or the outside line. Really think carefully about what your colour scheme is. Is it going to be a solid black fill or red or is it just going to be an outline? Think about which sole bass piece you're going to be inspired by for this particular poster. You can then delete the original image that you've drawn over. We're then going to add a fill colour behind our shape that we've just drawn. And then I'm going to right click and send this to the back. I'm going to begin compiling my poster together. I'm going to go to the website 1001 fonts or a similar one. And I'm going to search for an appropriate font. If you search at the top for Soul Bass or a particular font called Cartoon Toy, it will come up with some very appropriate fonts in the style of Soul Bass. What, it, what you will then get on your screen is a, an area where you can type in the text that you want to appear. We're going to eventually copy this as an image into our PowerPoint. So just think about what kind of text you want to include. Obviously you would have the title of your film, and then any actors' names. You may do this step multiple times. You're going to type in the film, change the colour and the size, and then you're going to copy and paste the picture of the text on that website and, cop and paste it into PowerPoint. You can then start arranging your poster. You may wish to draw multiple things. We've obviously got the group, of characters as well as the main image that has been drawn and then we've got various text that has been incorporated into the poster. Really think about all the different elements that you can use such as quotes, actors names and obviously those main bits of information that need to appear on the poster. You would then compile it all together on PowerPoint making sure that you're sending things to the back and the front so that things appear on top of one another or behind one another. Next, I'm going to talk about how you can develop some of your existing posters, particularly if, you, if you've already sent me quite a lot of work, thinking about how you can develop those. Perhaps you've done something by hand and now you can think about how can you create that digitally. This example takes inspiration from Sol Bass's Psycho um, film sequence. We can see the lines that are appearing behind the moustache. We can very much see the influences here. We can work with this particular design, but take elements and create it digitally. The example has been photographed or scanned in. We can then edit it digitally. So here we've had the background removed and the colour has been intensified. We can also use the freeform shape tool, perhaps to draw around the moustache just to create another version of this poster so that we're showing lots of different materials. Here we've got an, a, de a development of an idea. So we've got the film The Craze, which has been drawn, the first example, on the left. This has then been simplified, so it's much more in the style of Sol Bass. The glasses are more blocky and the typography is much more appropriate to his style. This final example for A Nightmare on Elm Street shows how we can use the freeform shape tool to draw over an original drawing. So we've got this claw marks almost digging into the paper. This has been scanned in or photographed and then we've drawn around that to create this solid shape. It makes these lines and shapes 
more vibrant. I know they're black, but it makes them more solid colour rather than just using a fine liner. It almost looks more professional as a digital version. We can then take that drawing and combine it with typography. We've got two different examples here about how you could create different versions of the same poster. Thinking about the layout and where your typography is going to be placed. It would be really nice to see everybody having a go at this technique and perhaps creating more than one version of a poster. This shows that you're coming up with a range of ideas. What I would like you to do today is start thinking about how you can develop your Soul Bass work. And then you're going to use PowerPoint to create some more refined and developed versions of your work. Some of you have started the Ollie Moss work that I uploaded on Monday. Don't worry about this for today. We will get time to go back to that next week. But I want you to think about what have you created so far for Soul Bass and how can you develop that? Perhaps you've created something by hand. It would be great if you could develop that further or just create something original, particularly if you haven't created anything or not enough pieces. So think about how you can use PowerPoint to draw. So you're going to use the free form shape tool. Again, I've reminded you here how you find that. You go to insert shape free form, and then you're going to draw over photographs or your own drawings with your mouse. You're then going to combine your drawing with typography to create posters. So using Soul Bass appropriate fonts not just your own hand-drawn typography. Think about the typography that Sol Bass uses in his work. So either using 1001 fonts and searching for Sol Bass, Hitchcock, cartoon toy or something similar that you might find on there. Or there is a Vertigo font. So Sol Bass's Vertigo poster, this is the font from that. You can take that as well. Please make sure you're emailing me your work. I want everybody to have a go at this today, please, so that we've got some great digital pieces. It's a great tool for those of us that haven't got, power, haven't got Photoshop. We can use PowerPoint instead. Okay, guys, speak to you soon. Bye.